All right, so in the previous lecture, we discussed how to create multiple graphs in a figure. But I know what you're thinking. Um, this is great, okay? The dimensions are working perfect. If you do two by one, it'll create two graphs, one on top of the other. But what if we only want three graphs? I mean, based on my observations, if we do two comma two, that's gonna create four slots. What happens then? Well, let's go ahead and try it out and you'll see for yourself. So we had graph two. Um, again, I'm sorry guys, we're gonna have to copy paste. So command C, command V, and go ahead and change, where was I? Here, okay. So starting from here, change all of them to three again. There's probably a faster way by command F and searching for um, all the twos and replacing them with threes, but that's fine. I can do some manual work. So these are all graph threes. Yes, okay. And now what we have to do is go ahead and change all of the fig.add subplots to be two comma two, okay? So this is two comma two, this is two comma two, and this is two comma two comma three. So remember, this is the third graph we're talking about, and that's it. So by doing so, we have created a two by two dimension of um, graphs. We have graph one as our first graph, graph two as our second graph, and graph three as our third graph, okay? So everything else looks correct. Um, one last thing we should do is change the values to x3 comma y3 and change the color to, I'm sorry, excuse me, orange, okay? So graph three is equal to fig.add subplot two comma two comma three, graph three dot plot x3 comma y3 comma orange. All right, so save this F5 and I'll now show you how creating um, these graphs work, okay? Okay, so we have this extra space now, and you're probably wondering, well, okay, this looks good. So we've created a two by two dimension, we filled it up with three graphs, but suppose I only want three graphs to show up. I don't want this extra space inside of my graph. I mean, that might be an issue you might have. You want one graph to be super long, cover the entire space, and then you want two smaller graphs to maybe display some other smaller information. So the way you can do this is by just changing up one number. Basically, when you create a two by two dimension, it, the, the module creates four spots in your, um, in your figure, okay? One, two, three, four. That's exactly what it's done over here. So this is spot one, this is spot two, this is spot three, and this is spot four. However, suppose we're talking about this graph. Right now for this graph, the orange graph, we have it set as two comma two comma three. So basically we're saying in a two by two dimension, okay, that's, that gives us four spots, I want this graph to be at the third spot, okay? So hopefully you're understanding how this um, placement of graphs work. Basically, multiply these two numbers together, that gives you the number of spaces inside of the graph, and then you just specify which number it should be. So in a two by two graph, which gives us four spaces, you have put it at the third position, which is this one. Now, the goal is right now to extend this graph all the way to our right. So make it to the width of our yellow graph. So going back to the two by one, what does a two by one say? Two by one says, I wanna create um, two graphs and the dimension is obviously it gives us two spaces, one at the top and one at the bottom. So what is the bottom's number? Well, if the top's number is one, the bottom's number will be two. So go ahead and try that out. Say subplot two comma one, comma two. So basically what that's saying is, think of this top part as one graph and this bottom part as the second graph, okay? So save this at five. And now if you take a look, you're gonna see our third graph has completely expanded to the edge of our screen. Pretty neat, right? So let me just um, make this down, awesome. So over here now you can take a look. Um, we learned that by changing up the dimensions, you don't have to make the dimension same for each graph. Um, all we did is we specified graph three to take up the full space of the bottom by making it think that it's a two by one dimension of a graph. So by specifying two comma one, that graph will now take up the whole bottom space. So that's it for this lecture guys. Um, one last thing actually before I end it. So taking a look at this, what I want you to do is open up our, not zoom, but this one, the subplot configuration tool. And I quickly wanna show you how this um, width space and height space work. So seeing this, um, the width space over here, try is expanding this, 
See, that's what it does. So if you want your graph to be a little neat, in case you're conserved with space, if you're working on a small screen and your graph is looking a bit scrunched up, what you can do is you can make your W space a bit greater, give it some gapping between the graphs, and then you can increase your horizontal space so that the random graph and the X and Y axis don't get interfered. Currently, right now, our numbers are being hidden by the random graph. Just expand the horizontal space or the height space a little bit, and that will give us some nice gap. Anyways, awesome job guys. We learned quite a lot in this lecture. Uh, let's quickly recap. So we learned about how to add multiple graphs in a setting, in a figure. We learned how to use our dimensions to specify where the graph should go. We learned that we don't have to use the exact same dimensions for each graph. Um, if you want one graph to extend all the way, you don't want it to be in one specific place, then you can use different dimensions to get your specific outcome. All right. Last but not least, we learned how the height space and the width space works. So terrific job. Um, again, if you have any questions whatsoever in the past lectures or in this lecture, if you're a bit confused on something, if you're not getting it, please, please do ask the question. Um, I want this course to be an open course. I want people to ask questions, be friendly, stuff like that. But that's it from my side. All right. So I'll see you in the next lecture and have a fantastic day.